like and subscribe right now and you'll have amazing luck for an entire week. In today's video, you'll meet a spider that's pretty in pink, a spider that's literally the size of your face, and a deadly giant. But first, let's take a look at the largest spider of them all. Number 10. The Giant Huntsman Think this photo is edited? Oh, how wrong you are. This here is the Giant Huntsman Spider, the one possessing the largest lug span of all spiders, which could be up to 30 centimeters. Unlike many spider species, Huntsman spiders don't build webs to catch prey, but rather actively hunt down their prey, hence their names. Because of their size, Huntsman spiders are sometimes incorrectly identified as tarantulas. One way to tell a huntsman from a tarantula is by the position of the creature's legs. Most spiders' legs bend vertically under the body. Huntsmans, on the other hand, have legs that are splayed out to the sides, giving them a more crab-like appearance. Hence the reason why some call them giant crab spiders. Large and quick, Huntsman spiders run up to a meter in one second, which is essential when they're on a hunt. The spider typically lives under loose bark on trees, under rocks, in crevices, and under foliage. Although relatively harmless, this is the kind of spider that you wouldn't want to see in your house, unless you like to be scared out of your wits on a regular basis. Unfortunately, huntsmen are notorious for entering houses and even cars. Yeah. Number 9. The Hercules Baboon Spider one of the scariest species in the Animalia Kingdom. The Hercules baboon spider is a venomous tarantula that is found in a few countries in the African continent, including Nigeria. Not only venomous, but big and aggressive as well. Their leg spans have been measured up to 28 centimeters. Unfortunately, or fortunately for some of you, this massive spider is presumed extinct and hasn't been seen in the wild since the 1900s. One was captured during the time, and it's now on display at London's Natural History Museum. Despite what you may think, its name doesn't suggest that these spiders regularly feed on baboons. They are so named because their legs resemble that of a baboon's fingers. There are actually reports that state that these spiders can grow larger, sometimes even larger than the giant huntsman. However, since none have been seen for over a century, we can't fully confirm the Hercules baboon spider to be the biggest of all time. Number 8. The Brazilian Salmon Pink Bird Eater With a leg span of up to 25 centimeters, the Brazilian Salmon Pink Bird Eater is one of the largest tarantulas in the world. Not only that, it grows really fast. In its first year alone, it could grow to a diameter of up to 15 centimeters. Like their name implies, Brazilian salmon pink bird eaters are pink, at least partially, with long salmon-colored hairs sticking out from their legs, abdomens, and mouth parts. Except for the pink patches, these tarantulas are mostly dark brown. Coloring may be the best way to identify these tarantulas, but Brazilian salmon pink bird eaters also have a distinctive shape. They're bulky, with a fairly large body in relation to leg length. Despite what their name suggests, they do not feed exclusively on birds, although they are very capable of doing so. The bulk of their diet consists of various insects. They round out the menu with a few lizards, frogs, and mice. They don't spin webs, but are rather ambush predators. They lie in wait until an unsuspecting victim wanders by before they pounce. They immediately inject their victim with venom in order to subdue it. After this, the gruesome feeding begins. The tarantulas pass digestive fluid out of the mouth and onto the prey. This results in partially digested prey, which the tarantulas suck up through their mouth. Hmm, it's kind of a really gross slushy, isn't it? Yuck. Number 7. The Colombian Giant Tarantula Also known as the Colombian Giant red Leg Tarantula, it lives in the Amazon rainforest of northern Brazil and Colombia. Females of the species grow to an impressive size of 20 centimeters. Their dark coloration contrasting with various hues of light browns and reds makes this tarantula a rather large piece of eye candy. They are opportunistic burrowers and enjoy moving things around when they feel like it. They are docile for the most part, but they can be a little defensive if they perceive a threat. They have an interesting way of bobbing up and down as a first warning for anything they consider to be a threat. 
They also possess large thorny spikes hidden between bushy bristles on their hind legs, and any further annoyance will be met with another strange defensive behavior for this species, where it will spin around trying to kick its spiky hind legs in the direction of the threat. They have venom, but it's not particularly potent, just strong enough to help them subdue their prey. As with most other spiders on this list, Colombian giant tarantulas live on a mix of whatever mice, small lizards, and large insects they can find. Number 6. Cerebalus aravaiensis Cerebalus aravaiensis is an extremely rare species of huntsman spider found only in the Arava Valley of Israel and Jordan. They are nocturnal sand dwellers who make their homes in sand dunes and the sand around salt marshes, constructing their dens with a hinged cover made of sand and glue to disguise the entrance from predators. This spider could grow up to 14 centimeters in diameter, and at that size, they are Israel's largest spider. It feeds mostly on insects, but individuals of the species have been recorded in the past devouring lizards much larger and heavier than them. This species' limited habitat puts its existence in imminent danger, and the sands of the Arava are constantly shrinking due to rezoning of areas for agriculture and sand quarries. But thanks to such nature reserves as the sands of Samar and Evrona, the Cerebalus aravaiensis and a large variety of other rare animals get to live their lives with minimal human interference. Number 5. Face-Sized Tarantula The face-sized tarantula has an oddly specific name because it's exactly what the packaging says. It is a tarantula that's about the size of a human face. Not really the biggest in the world, but with a leg span of up to 20 centimeters, it's still too big for comfort. I don't like that. No, no thanks. Covered in beautiful, ornate markings, the spiders belong to the genus Pocillotheria, known as pokies for short. These are the tiger spiders, an arboreal group indigenous to India and Sri Lanka that are known for being colorful, fast, and venomous. It is one of the few tarantula species not native to South America, but rather are found in old buildings and old growth trees in Sri Lanka and southern India. They are also a fairly new discovery, with the first specimen only seen in 2010. Their bites are not deadly to humans, but their venom allows them to kill animals as large as mice, lizards, and small birds and snakes before eating them. Number 4. The Brazilian Wandering Spider Boasting a leg span of up to 15 centimeters, the Brazilian Wandering Spider isn't only large, but also lethal. In fact, it's the only lethal spider to make it onto our list. Brazilian Wandering Spiders get the name from their behavior of wandering around the jungle floor by night and instead of having a web, resting in the daytime in banana plants or termite mounds. Its Latin name comes from the Greek for murderous, which suggests they're pretty deadly. They are sometimes said to have the world's most toxic spider venom. Based on a study where mice were killed with an injection of just six thousandths of a milligram of venom. Other sources suggest that only 2% of bites from these spiders result in the need for anti-venom as treatment. The venom of the Brazilian wandering spider is extremely potent and definitely can kill a man. That is, if the spider is successful at introducing the venom into a person's bloodstream. The truth is, it's not particularly good at injecting it into humans, but always err on the side of caution and make sure to stay away from these arachnids as much as possible. An interesting side effect of their venom in men causes priapism, which is extremely painful and not good news at all. Number 3. The Camel Spider Found in all warm deserts and scrublands in all continents except Australia, the camel spider is not actually venomous, nor is it a spider, but it is an arachnid that looks ferocious and is the stuff of legends. Camel spiders became an internet sensation during the Iraq War of 2003 when rumors of their bloodthirsty nature began to circulate online. Many tales were accompanied with photos purporting to show spiders half the size of a human. They're big, but not that big, growing to about 15 centimeters. And despite what the legends say, they do not eat camels and humans from the inside out. They are, in fact, not deadly to humans at all, but they do have an extremely painful bite. They are vicious predators that feed upon insects, rodents, lizards, and small birds. These hardy desert dwellers boast large, powerful jaws, which can be up to one-third of their body length. They use them to seize their victims and turn them to pulp with a chopping or sawing motion. Camel spiders are not venomous, but they do utilize digestive fluids to liquefy their victims' flesh, making it easy to suck the remains into their stomachs. 
Number 2. The Chaco Golden Knee The Chaco Golden Knee Tarantula, bristling with hair and boasting leg spins of up to 22 centimeters, may appear formidable, but they are among the calmest spiders. In fact, they are regular fixtures of the exotic pet trade. They have simple needs, and they can live to a ripe old age of 15 years, sometimes even more, making them the perfect, albeit creepy, companions. Ugh. Native to the grasslands of Argentina and Paraguay, the Chaco Golden Knee Tarantula is a ground-living species that burrows when he can. It's quite flashy in appearance, bearing long, light-colored hairs all over its body and gold stripes on its legs, particularly at the knees or joints. Their body color is usually a black or dark brown. They have urticating hairs that they throw when they feel threatened. These spiders eat insects and other invertebrates. Using their large fangs, they inject digestive juices into their prey, which turn the victim's insides into a liquid. The spider can then suck them up like a soup. Number 1. The Goliath Bird Eater With a leg span of up to 28 centimeters, the Goliath Bird Eater may not be the largest spider on this list, but at 175 grams, it is certainly the heaviest. It is, in fact, the world's heaviest spider. Goliath bird eaters live in the swamps and rainforests of northern South America, though despite their name, don't frequently eat birds, more usually preying on invertebrates, mice, frogs, and lizards at night. These spiders bite and are able to deliver a venom. The venom may not be lethal, but it can be compared to a wasp's sting, so it's still quite painful. What you really need to watch out for are their hairy abdomens and legs. For defense, they rub their hairs together to make a hissing noise able to be heard from a few meters away. When under threat, they often rear up on their hind legs and show their fangs or fire their barbed hairs at attackers, which can lodge into skin or eyes, causing irritation for days. See you guys next time.